Welcome to this webinar about canine CRP, an inflammation marker in serum and plasma. My name is Paula Lindner and I'm the product manager at Gentian for the canine CRP immunoassay. In this webinar, I want to give you an overview of what CRP is, why it is useful as a biomarker, and give you an introduction to the Gentian technology and canine CRP immunoassay. Let us start with taking a look at what kind of protein CRP is. CRP stands for C-reactive protein, and it is one of the major acute phase proteins produced in the liver in response to inflammation. The protein structure is composed of five identical subunits, and I want to note here that in dogs, two of these subunits are glycosylated in contrast to human CRP. The levels of CRP rise in response to systemic inflammations in the body, and that happens quite fast, already in around four to six hours after the onset of inflammation. Maximum levels will be reached normally between 24 to 48 hours, depending on the stimulus, and they can increase up to over 100 fold. It is important to note that CRP levels correlate well with the degree of inflammation because levels drop rapidly when the inflammation is eliminated due to the short half life of the CRP protein. This rapid increase and decrease of protein levels also means that CRP levels reflect the sum of different inflammatory stimuli in the body. Let us next look at the characteristics of CRP as a biomarker for systemic inflammation. One of the most important characteristics of CRP is that it is an objective marker for systemic inflammations with a large diagnostic window. That makes CRP a very valuable and easy tool in the early diagnosis process to detect or exclude systemic inflammation. CRP measurement starts the process of a precise diagnosis and can improve the individualized patient decisions, which results in reduced care time and improved patient outcome. For example, high CRP levels will alert the veterinarian to an urgent treatment of the inflammation while an exclusion of inflammation can guide the diagnostic process to other underlying causes. CRP can be elevated in various conditions, including infections, surgical trauma, gastrointestinal diseases, autoimmune-mediated conditions, and also cancer. CRP can be used at different stages of the clinical process, depending on the underlying conditions. As mentioned, it is used in the early diagnosis process, but CRP is also very important in monitoring. That is because CRP levels will track the real-time course of the inflammation due to the short half-life of the protein, and therefore CRP is very useful for monitoring the treatment response and can even give some prognostic evaluation potential. For example, when monitoring patients after surgery where they are especially prone to infections. It is also important to note that CRP is a very reliable biomarker because it is not influenced by gender, age, stress, or diet, like some other biomarkers might be. The only disease-unrelated elevations are pregnancy, very young age, and vigorous exercise, all of which can be easily excluded or avoided. I want to mention one exemplary study that compared CRP with white blood cell count and band neutrophil count, which are also commonly used to detect inflammation. This study included over 900 dogs with various conditions and the authors found no or only weak correlation between CRP and white blood cell count and burnt neutrophil count. This means CRP was able to detect inflammation which were missed by the other two methods. So the authors conclude that including CRP is an essential routine in diagnostic testing because it can reliably detect the presence of systemic inflammation. As a small summary of the first two parts, I would like to highlight the reliable use of CRP in early diagnosis and the use of this quantitative biomarker in monitoring the treatment response and even give a prognostic evaluation for the patient. Let us come to the second part of this webinar and take first a look at the technology behind the Gentian immunoassays. The Gentian PETIA assays are based on immunoparticles, which are small beads coated with a specific antibody. The immunoparticles are mixed with a sample containing several different antigens, including the target antigen. In this case, the sample will be serum or plasma, and the target antigen is a canine CRP protein. 
The mixture of immunoparticles and antigen will lead to agglutination because the same antigen can be bound by several antibodies on different beads, so they will be cross-linked together by the bound antigen. Importantly, the degree of this cross-linking correlates with the concentration of the CRP antigen in the sample. This reaction takes place within the curvette of the analyzer, and the degree of agglutination is measured by passing light through the sample. A light source will emit a fixed amount of light, and the monochromator will filter the light beam so only one narrow wavelength will pass through the sample. The crosslink complexes will reflect and absorb some portion of light, and the transmitted light will be measured by a detector, and based on the fraction of incoming light and the light that passes through the sample, the concentration of CRP can be calculated. In the last part of this webinar, we will take a look on the Gentian K9 CRP immunoassay and its specification and advantages. One of the main advantages of the Gentian K9 CRP assay is that it is developed with K9 specific antibodies instead of human. It results in less lot to lot viability and high specificity, since the K9 CRP is, in contrast to the human CRP, glycosylated at two subunits. In addition, the assay uses antibodies from avian origin, which have the advantage of increased sensitivity and less background signal, since avian antibodies have less interference, for example, with the rheumatic factor and the complement system. The assay allows a random access sampling, meaning that any number of samples can be run, from single inputs to several samples in the same run, allowing a high throughput of the assay and fast results on daily basis. The Gentian PTR assays are fully automated systems. That means less hands on time in the lab, which saves you time and money. The assay time is quite short. From start to result, it only takes 10 minutes. The assay provides a wide range of measuring, which means that you will need less dilution steps in most of your samples, and so saves you time, costs, and possible inaccuracies in dilution. Also, the calibration is stable for four weeks, resulting in reduced cost and time for recalibration. Finally, it is important to note the Gentian K9 CRP immunoassay is suitable for all open access analyzers, so you can set up the assay on your own specific instrument. Here, I want to give you an overview of the most important performance characteristics of the assay. The linearity range spans from 10 to 300 mg per liter with an LQ around 5 to 10 mg per liter and a security zone up to 1000 mg per liter, depending on the instrument. Also, the precision is very good, with low CVs from clinical cutoff value and above, and normal values for healthy dogs are in the range of 0.2 to 4.9 mg per liter. As a sample material, you can use both serum and plasma blood samples. You will find all of the specific ranges in the application notes, and Gentian has validated the assay on a wide range of analyzers, including Abbott, Beckman Coulter, Horiba, Mindray, Roche, and Siemens. Apart from the already available applications, we will also assist you to set up the K9 CRP assay on your instrument. Finally, I want to mention that you can also read about a validation of the Gentian K9 CRP assay in the open access publication from Anna Hilström and colleagues from 2014. The authors showed very good linearity of samples from 30 to 1200 mg per liter. They also reported high precision measured within runs, between runs, and also between days, with low CV values for a wide range of samples. In addition, the Gentian K9 CRP assay was compared to the Rendox CRP assay showing a strong correlation, especially in samples with up to 240 mg per liter. While above the dilution range, indicated with the lines in this graph, the constant error increased slightly. It is important to note here that the Gentian K9 CRP assay has a wider measuring range, resulting in less risk for a potential constant error due to dilution, and the wider range also reduces the workload. To wrap up this short introduction to the Gentian K9 CRP assay, I want to highlight that Gentian uses canine-specific avian antibodies in this fast and accurate assay that can be applied to any open-access clinical analyzer at your laboratory. 
So with the Gemtian canine CRP immunoassay, you will acquire a highly reliable and sensitive dog-specific marker for systemic inflammation, which will guide the veterinarian to an informed treatment decision and thereby improve the patient outcome. You can contact us for any questions regarding the canine CRP assay via email or visit our website for more information and insight.